Well, I'm very, very excited to, to introduce him. He's going to be discussing some film criticism, so please put your hands together for Davon Bland, everybody. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I had sex before I came here, so I'm tired. I am exhausted. This nigga know what I'm talking about. Your boy, I went to film school. I studied film. Shit, don't do that shit. There's nothing you can't. Them niggas is all straight anyway. When you study films, you watch them and you think a lot and you like you bore your friends a lot. You shook your head. You know what I'm talking about. The reason is here is we've seen a lot of reboots and shit of older material. Like they they don't have a lot of new ideas right now. But here, 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 we have a legacy. This is the creed. This is creed. And the thing about Creed is Creed is a part of a series of films. Uh, one thing I need y'all to know about those films, these are the Rocky movies. A anybody familiar with those? Yeah. <laughs> one thing that you might not have noticed if you watched them all is that Rocky Balboa can't do shit without black people. <laughs> Shit work. 
He don't even know the difference between condoms and condos. It's like <laughs> dumbass little town boy. And so Apollo Creed is pissed off because everybody's telling him, oh man, Rocky would have beat you. You actually lost that fight. It is a black man in the 70s who was fighting really hard to prove himself against the white establishment. So he starts going to Rocky to get into another fight so he can prove himself. Essentially what happens is Rocky starts firing with his left hand and he wins. That's it. That's all that happened. <laughs> and it was like Rocky just switched the hands on him and he won. That's how it happened. He becomes heavyweight champion of the world. Pause. Rocky 1 is a good move. Rocky 2 is a good sequel. This story should not exist no more. We don't need no more of these fucking Rocky movies. But Hollywood said, no, let's keep that shit pushing, and shit starts to get weird. Rocky III comes out weird in the 80s now. Rocky fights hella people to defend his championship belt. Now, wife, Adrian, yo, Adrian, they couldn't have kids and shit. He plans to retire. Uh, he got a statue. And white people punch enough people, they will get a statue. <laughs> Some of you older white people don't like that I'm proving this very factual shit. But you know, some of y'all grew up in small towns and know the statues I'm talking about. Don't give me those looks, Gladys. Oh shit, it's Mr. T! Oh fuck! Oh shit, it's Mr. T! Mr. T plays Club and Lane, the number one contender for a shot at the heavyweight championship. Uh, he challenges Rocky a bunch. He even tries to flirt with Adrian on some creepy shit. He is so scary. This is the most vicious boxer of all time. In the six years span, we've seen three Rocky movies. Every antagonist has been a black man. I don't know if some of y'all existed during this time. There was no white heavyweight championship of the world. There's been several black heavyweight championships. One of them had no teeth. None of these niggas was a talent. Hey, so there is no heavyweight champion, but in the Rocky Cinematic Universe there is, and he got a fight. <laughs> Mr. T. Well, they start training, and Rocky on some stupid shit. His trainer's like, hey, you gotta go back in the gym, and Rocky got money now. He is from a poor community. What we know is that when poor people get money, they start wilding out, doing stupid shit. Rocky starts training in a hotel. He got a band performing for him. He's doing all types of circus acts. This nigga is training by himself, alone, sweating, scary as hell. The match happens, Rocky's trainer, Mickey goes into a heart attack, Rocky all distracted, he ain't fought, he ain't trained at all, he loses the fight, Mickey dies, Rocky depressed as hell. Now this is when she gets wild. She goes back to the gym and sees Apollo Creed, and Apollo says, hey, I'm gonna train you to fight that other black dude and I'm gonna help you get out of your depression. In order for Rocky to fight the black guy, he has to learn how to box like a black guy. And it is to the power of having exactly one black friend. Rocky wins. Oh shit, the Soviets. This when you thought, oh, this shit couldn't get no winner. We have to tell him of the Cold War. Freakonomics is fucking shit out. Oh. Rocky, who at this point represents the American dream, he can't just fight black people no more. He gotta fight communism. Ivan Drago, look at look at him, just scary until Putin comes. Rocky IV come out. Apollo Creed is like, hey, I'm patriotic, dumbass. And he like, he's like, I'm patriotic. I'm gonna fight the Russians. No black person in the history of ever has been like, I'm gonna fight the Russians. One time I fought a Russian kid, he bit my hand. No! <laughs> Rocky is reluctant to train him, but he agrees, and Apollo dumbass dies. Rocky gets all upset, and he's plotting revenge. Now, here's how this shit go. They start training. Rocky goes to Russia. Fucking why? Rocky goes to Russia, starts training and shit with Apollo Creed's trainer, Duke. A black man named Duke, bald-headed ass black man named Duke, they start training the shit. He chopping wood, he doing weird push-ups, uh, whatever this thing is with the wood. <laughs> I've been trying to do all types of scientific shit using the best.
best song in the month and they can rock. We use the best rubles they can rock. But I have to drop it on and got no black people training him. And so they fight. I was like, I must break you. But guess what, nigga? Bye. I have to drop it on losers. Nigga should have ate more borscht. He's not. He beat losers. And then Rocky's like, hey, he does his speech. He's like, hey, if we come together, we can end our differences. And he ends the cold war. I don't know if y'all know this, but Sylvester Stallone is a Republican. Look it up. If you watch his movies, you can tell that. Him and the nigga who made 16 Cats. Anyway, he fights the Russian at first for his black friend, but then eventually it's just for America. I don't know. Other than there's two Rocky movies that don't fucking matter. These movies don't matter. Rocky Five is trash, but Rocky does punch a black man in that movie. They keep with the theme. Rocky Balboa, he old as hell, and he gets to fight this black man named Mason the Lion Dixon. That's fucked up. He fights this dude. Uh, he doesn't win, he just, but he survives. He wasn't finna win. He old as shit. Now we have the Creed movie where Rocky, he's not fighting, but he's teaching this young black, he's teaching Apollo Creed how to fight, which is reparation. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna make you the best fighter. And that way Rocky is able to continue with his life. He doesn't have to just be living in Philadelphia.